is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Happy Samsung Galaxy release week. You have your new Tab S9, you have the new Watch Series 6s, and you have obviously their two new flagship devices, the Flip 5 and Fold 5. We have a couple in house that we want to do unboxings for and show you guys. The first being this baby right here, that new Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, and some of their actual first party buckles. Um, I really do like this new D-Buckle Hybrid Eco Leather Band and the new colored sports band as you can see here. Uh, super excited to get hands on with that. But what you guys are gonna be wanting more to see is this here. They finally brought back the physical rotating bezel. Bezel. This is that 47 millimeter variant, so it's the largest one they have. Just Wi-Fi, no LTE. But they look the same and will operate the same and all of that. So, let's go ahead, open this up, do our unboxing, and see how well Samsung did on the new Watch 6 Classic. Let's go. So, like I said in the introduction, here we go. This is the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, the largest one they're offering this year in that 47 millimeter variant. And again, like I said, this is the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi version. They obviously all have GPS, but the LTE version will be exactly the same if you guys decide to go that route. You can, with their little Galaxy Watch Studio or whatever they're calling it, kind of design it how you want. You can change your bands up. We got one of those other Eco Hybrid leather bands here, um, kind of like what we were discussing with this one as well um, for a darker color. But we wanted this one and the regular one, just depending on how we want to dress it up and down. So let's go ahead and open this up. Again, a couple little tears on here. Packaging the same, like I said, as years past. Not too much different there, so not too much to go over. Ooh, all right, so right when we open it up, obviously you can see the watch itself. We have our charging cable and reading material in here. We'll just plug that to the side. And then at the bottom here is our age-old charging cable that has not varied in a few years, like I was saying. You can see it has that nice black puck still. And let's pull this baby out here. With that USB C cable. So I do kind of like it. It's not a proprietary charger. Obviously the dock is, but the connector is obviously USB type C. So as long as you have a USB type C port, you will be able to charge this. And right to the device itself. Oh, I can tell you right off the bat, this hybrid leather rubber strap feels really good in hand. Um, this heavy, the watch itself obviously has a little weight to it just due to the sizing, but the slimmer bezels and obviously the brought back rotating bezel really does give this baby a nice, nice look. You can see on the back, 47 millimeters, as you would expect, sapphire crystal, GPS, five ATMs for the water resistance, which puts it on par with like the Apple Watch Ultra and all that. So taking a dive with this shouldn't give it any issues. Just obviously be mindful, they're water resistant, not waterproof. Obviously you have your health sensors at the bottom as well. Let's go ahead and turn this baby on. You're gonna have obviously your home button and your apps button. Let's see it, there we go. And obviously we'll get that all charged up. Aside from that, Samsung always does make a large variety of bands. First party that sells for way over what you can get on Amazon or anything like that. I'll be doing a separate video with the hands-on with these, comparing it to the actual one that came with it, that hybrid leather one, not the D-buckle style. So we'll have three different straps to go over. I do want to call out one of the big changes this year with the actual bands themselves. They have this new quick release connect to make swapping bands so much easier than having to get your nail under a pin to make that change. Now all you have to do is actually push it down and pop it out. If I can get my finger there, it's that easy. So literally, this is a little spring and you can line it up and just put it right back in, just like that. It does take some getting used to, but it still works just as easily as what you would imagine. Let me get this set up and we'll be right back. So as you can see, we finished getting the Wear app installed, obviously on a Fold or any non-Samsung device. You have to go through the plugin and then obviously get the Galaxy Watch app to allow everything to run for a non-Samsung device. And once you do that, there's a couple little settings to go through and get it all set up. But once you do, you are greeted by your traditional app. And this watch, guys, looks amazing. 
I have to say it, I know I've said it a couple times, but it is very fluid and damn, I have missed that rotating bezel. It makes everything so much easier to kind of swipe through without having to touch the display. Plus, again, as is traditional with Samsung's watches, the display does look mighty good. So one of the first things I want to show you, obviously, are those new watch faces. You can see this first one is the one you get originally when you load up the watch for the first time. They, this is in all their marketing material, and I think it does look good. And then you have, obviously, a couple of other ones here. You have the Fluid number 1 that we've had for a while, and you can see it has a little animation. Your traditional funny faces as well, and you can obviously match and mix all of these as you wish. You can see it has a little animation when you move the watch around, when you activate it. Gradient numbers, flowers, I'm not going to click through all of them. This is a newer one I don't remember seeing before. This is ball, and you can see it looks like a beach ball that just has different colors that spin around as well. Cute character, animals, big number, AR emoji, friends, bitmoji, and then your styles that you create. There are live wallpapers and flowers, color pie, and fresh. Some of these obviously come pre-installed, some you do still need to obviously download. Flower Garden is not a good one, or not a new one, but it is pretty neat if you like a design like that. That looks good as well. You have all your informative ones. This came with the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, I believe. And I still think this looks good for a simplistic yet useful watch face. Kinetic Digits, again, not a new one, but one of my favorites. That looks good. As this time is loading, I can tell you the haptics on this watch do feel great right off the bat also. Info board. Blah, blah, blah. You can see all of these other ones that come pre-installed or you can just download straight in the app from the watch manager. I really like a lot of these. I've used them. All of Samsung's watches have a great look. And if you don't have one installed, this is the, uh, this is kind of the interface you'll get. You'll get the verification that you're going to let this download a watch face. You click, simply click it from there. It will download. And as soon as it finishes downloading, it will install right to the watch itself and make it your default watch face. I'm gonna let that go, but then you can still see you have simple watch options, other basic ones for big info, numbers, and settings. Other ones you might have downloaded, so an Outlook one I have, Samsung Global Goals, etc., etc. And then you can still get other watch faces from other apps like you traditionally would. Aside from the watch faces, you have your traditional settings for your display, your always on and all that. You can show media controls if you'd like, change the font size, uh, touch sensitivity, all of the normal stuff. Samsung Pay is obviously here. Um, it is only NFC now. It has been for a while, and I don't think it's a big deal. It looks good. It still works fine. Uh, it would be nice to have all options available, but unfortunately, Samsung gave up on their other attempt there and just went with NFC. But yeah, everything's the same actually on the app itself. Jumping into the watch is very simple. Obviously, pull down for all of your shortcuts for your notification channels. It's all the same here. Swiping up gives you all of your apps, and you can obviously scroll again with that bezel if you choose. Top button will take you right back home. Bottom button will jump you into any of your other apps, or you can actually change it around as needed. This will show you your widgets, and obviously you can scroll just for your widgets as well. So yeah, quick run through. I really do like the way this watch looks. Uh, the watch face itself is just massive, looks like a regular watch piece, and you can see it next to my 49mm Apple Watch Ultra. I would take this design any day. I wish Apple would go the circular route instead of the square face at this time, but clearly they're not going to do that. Let me know in the comments down below. What else do you want to see in regards to this watch? Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.